let's generate a graph that has two types of data overlaying on the same graph. So we can come up here. We can do it a couple different ways. I want to show you uh, the, probably the, the first way you'll want to do this. Let's go ahead and make a scatter plot. We'll make this our x, make this our y. We'll have some error involved with this, so we'll choose our standard error here. And we'll say, uh, let's make a scatter plot here. Boom. There we go. There's our scatter plot. But now maybe we have some additional data of another variable that also, say, varies from, from our water source. And we want to visualize that. We're going to come over here. And now I have, I have two different ways to do that. The first is to simply uh, add another layer at the same time, or, or data at the same time. And I can do that by keeping this same configuration, but just picking, here's my distance from water. I'll make that guy. Note now we're, we've changed color, so now we're onto orange. So now all the variables that are orange will be plotted along with this guy. So in this case, we're going to show moss cover. And let's show the variance associated with that moss cover. Now when I come on up and hit scatter plot, I can do that. Or I can come up here, and for my orange guy, let's say I wanted a line plot. And I can say OK. So here we go. So here is my scatter plot, in this case, of my seeds. And here we go. This is our amount of moss that we saw as we go through. So very easy to generate graphs like that. One last thing I'll just note, over here, here we have our plot with a single guy. We can add an additional thing right on there. Let's show how we do that. So if we decided we want to do that, but we hadn't done it the first pass, we can go ahead and, and turn these guys off. But let's come on up and say, hey, we want to do that. So here's our x. Here is our y. Here is our error y. Now, I would do it just like I did before, but instead of clicking this bad boy, I'm going to pick this guy, and I'm going to pick which plot it, it gets posted into. We'll pick tab 2 and hit Mix Types, and there we go. Now we've generated the same exact graph from the get-go or uh, piece, in a piecemeal approach.